Hi friends, I come to you in this video with a dual purpose. My purpose number one is to help you strategize for the mid-year DNB exam and my purpose number two is obviously to motivate you for the exam. I know many of you have been preparing from January onwards this year, some of you were you know repeating this year and some of you had high hopes on the mid-year exams, you gave the central institute's exam and some of you have performed very well, some of you have not done so well. And now your next target is the June 29th DNB CAT exam. So why am I here live today with you is because I know there is exactly around 20-25 days left for the exam and that is the ideal time to start revising. Okay. My first message of the day is if you are preparing for DNB exam, this is the right time to start revising. And what should be your priority in revising? I am again repeating myself. The priority has to be your class notes. Please revise your class notes. Make sure that you are thorough with them. This time DNB exam is going to be in a different pattern. It is this time they are doing it in a single set exam. Till last year DNB exam mid-year was a multi-set exam. This is single set exam. And we all know this time you have seen the NEET exam last year. You have seen the single set exam. Single set exams they tend to be more tougher. They tend to be a slightly at a higher level than a multi-set exam. So expect that the paper will be slightly more tougher. But at the end of the day, when I say tougher, it only means that they're not going to repeat too much. But it's a good idea to look at previous DNB questions. It's a good idea to look at last NEET exam as a sampler. But it is even better idea to look at the notes, keep revising your concepts and be thorough with your concepts. That is the first thing. Second thing I want you to do is you need to have ample practice. If you have tests remaining in your online login, please finish your test. Please finish your grand test. Utilize each paper to, you know, refine your exam skills. We will be doing a mock test for DNB exam on 15th of June. Please make it as a mini landmark for you so that by the time you reach the real landmark, you're already, you know, practiced a, a, a full, full course paper, full length paper beforehand. Do expect a little bit of visuals in the paper. There will be some visuals in the paper. Definitely it's a computer based test. And I also want you to take a look at the subject wise distribution of the paper. Let me let me put it up for you. So uh, when I look at the subject by distribution that the national board has put up, if you notice there is something unique in this DNB exam that if you notice in the anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, they are saying 24, 24, 24 questions each. If I was in your place, I would start my revision with first prof subjects here. This, you should have to give them priority. And then I would give due priority to medicine, surgery and obstetrics and gynae. Again, you are having 75 questions there. So if you notice half of the paper is actually about medicine, surgery, obs and gynae, anatomy, physiology, biochemistry. Then they have given some weightage to second prof subjects, but don't forget they have given weightage to ophthalmology and ENT. I'll probably, you know, give half a day each to the minor subjects or the smaller subjects here, like, you know, an skin anesthesia, radiology, psychiatry, orthopedics. I want you to put some less amount of days there, more amount of days in the first prof and uh, the clinicals, the hardcore clinicals like medicine, surgery, obs and gynae. Let's, let's put more uh, time on them in revision. Let, let's about priority. But I want you to know there is uh, no guarantee. There, there is uh, no guarantee in the real exam. Whatever subject wise distributions they talk about, they are a representation of what to expect in the exam. They're never uh, meant to be a guarantee. Okay. So don't ignore any subject is my second message. The idea here is let's make it a point in the next 25 days you'll revise everything but you'll put your days more towards the subjects where they are saying they will put more questions, lesser days to other subjects but don't put nil day to any subject. That is the message that I want you to have. Second is expect visuals so if you are you know if you are with us for the last year or so you have done the DVT session with us in the past please make sure that you revise your DVT notes DVT slides revise your class notes revise your visuals and if you are uh, currently pursuing your course with us right now make sure that you look look through the visuals that each teacher is showing you in the classes and make sure that you are you know in a good frame of mind when you give the exam 
in an exam like this there is a negative marking of 1 by 4 you know a 25 percent negative marking don't be too scared of the negative marking is another message that i want you to have don't be too bogged down by the negative marking in the exam don't let it scare you so much that you you know sp spoil everything i'll come back again with a video when i talk about uh, you know the exam skill and how to go about the exam I i'll come back again with a video for that as well my purpose today is to tell you the priority subjects as well as my purpose is to alert you to the need to start revision. Many times, you know, when you are in a rut of running forward, 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 you don't know that I have to revise. DNB is a good target. Mid-year DNB is a good achievement to take, you know, and it can save a year of your time. If you've been preparing so far, it's a good idea to target DNB, TSCT today. DNB has been, you know, taken as more or less equivalent with MDMS courses for most of the purposes today. And it's a good exam to give. And yes, some of you might come back to me and say, sir, I'm not really looking at this DNB as my ultimate destination. But still, even for NEAT, it would act as a, um, a stepping stone or a practice match because it's the say, exam board is same. I, I, if I was in your place, I would give this exam with full seriousness. It's a very important exam for you. This is the time to start revising. Finish your pending tests and make sure you appear for the DAMS DNB CET mock that we do on 15th of June. That will be available on your online logins. Make sure that you log in on those dates. I wish you all the best.